Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 16, Lesson 2. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can multiply two decimal numbers by applying an understanding of place value. And the learning objective is to place the decimal point in decimal multiplication. Prior learning is that students multiplied a whole number of up to four digits by a one-digit whole number. All right, moving into lesson, we're on page 405. We have a spark your learning, and it reads, Nikki buys items from the bulk bins at the grocery store. The table shows the item, the number of pounds that Nikki buys, and the cost for one pound of the item. Sort each item by cost for the amount that Nikki buys. All right, so we have to really look at what's going on with the multiplication, and we have to sort it if the total cost that she's going to be buying for that item is less than a dollar, if it's going to be between $1 and $10, or if it's going to be greater than that $10. All right, so let's look at the first one. We have almonds. She's buying 1.2 pounds, and the pound or I'm sorry, the cost per pound is $5.89. Now she's only buying 1.2 pounds. So that means it's going to be pretty close to that $5. So if it's going to be pretty close to that $5, we know fairly certainly that it's going to be between the one and $10 ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to put almonds in that second box right here. All right, for the next one, for trail mix, we have 2.6 pounds. So it's going to be double as much and then ha almost about half as much. So we have $4.42. We are going to double that at least to get to it about $9. And then we have to do half of that $4, which is about $2. So it's going to be about $8. Um, $8 for just the two, the 42 cents twice will probably give us another dollar. So we're talking about $9 now, and then half of the $4 would be two more dollars. So I'm guessing it's going to be around $11. So that would put the trail mix over in the greater than $10. So let's go ahead and put trail mix over here. All right, so the white rice... We have 1.6, so we're going to do one whole of the total cost, and then we're going to do half of that cost on top of it. So we only have 89 cents. So it's going to be 89 cents plus another half of that. So another, I don't know, 40 cents. So 80 cents plus 40 cents-ish is going to be about $1.20. So it's definitely going to be more than $1. So we are going to put that white rice in that middle section between $1 and $10. All right, next is the lentils. So we only have 0.7. We don't even have a whole pound, which means it's just going to be a portion of the cost. And the cost is 83 cents. So we're having a portion of 83 cents, which is pretty easily going to be less than a dollar. So we're going to go ahead and put the lentils in the less than a dollar section. Now for the walnuts, we have 1.8. So let's just round it up to be about two times the price. So we have $7.72. If we're finding double $7, that means it's going to be about $14 fairly easily. So it's definitely be greater than 10. So underneath the trail mix is going to be the walnuts. All right, last one is the red beans. So we're gonna find half of the cost. So we have a dollar and 29 cents and we only need about half that. So half of a dollar and 29 cents is definitely gonna be less than a dollar. So the red beans is gonna go over in the less than one. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page here. Now we're on page 406. We have a build your understanding number one. This is Oliver is making a pasta salad. He needs 2.3 ounces of dry pasta for one serving. And he wants to make 7.5 servings. So how much dry pasta does he need? So for A, what multiplication expression models the situation? So go ahead and just write this out as a multiplication problem, but don't solve. B, what's the estimate? So find and round your numbers to the nearest whole number and then multiply them together and figure out an estimate for what your answer should be close to. For C, how can finding the product of 75 times 23 help you find the product of 7.3 times 
Look at the numbers and see and try to discuss and write down how you think finding those two whole numbers would help you find the decimal. Then for D, they do want you to go ahead and solve and write out that multiplication problem. For E, how can you use your estimate to determine the placement of the decimal point? So how did you multiplying those whole numbers and then you finding your estimate up in letter B, how did those two let you know where you're supposed to put that decimal if you didn't know the decimal rule for multiplication? And then for F, What's your final answer? How much dry pasta does Oliver need? All right, go ahead and try your best on this page and then come back and we'll solve them together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great work. Let's go ahead and solve this together. So for A, I am gonna be multiplying these two numbers together. So I have a 2.3 and then I'm gonna multiply it by my 7.5. So for an estimate, if I was going to be rounding these numbers together, 2.3, if I was rounding to the nearest whole number, would be 2. And then if I was rounding 7.5 to the nearest whole number, it would have to go up to 8, because 5 or higher, I would go to the next digit, so for 8. And 2 times 8 is going to be 16. So how did I find it? I just rounded to the nearest whole number. All right, and then for C, how can finding the product 75 times 23 help you find the product 7.3 and 23? Well, the digits in the multiplication problem is gonna be exactly the same. And then for actually multiplying, so I have five times three is gonna be 15, carry the one. Five times two is 10, plus one is 11. Placeholder zero, now moving into the seven for 70. Seven times three is 21, carry the two. And then seven times two is 14, plus two is 16. So if I add those two together, I'm gonna get five, two, seven, and one. Make sure that looks like a seven. All right, so how can you use your estimate to determine the placement of the decimal point in the whole number? Well, I got my answer of 1,725, but my estimate was 16, which means my decimal point needs to be placed so that my 1,725 is close to 16. So if I put my decimal right here, now it makes it 17, which is closer to 16. And remember that decimal rule is if you have two numbers behind a decimal point, you need two numbers behind the decimal point in the answer. So you were really dealing with 7.5 and 2.3. You have one number behind the decimal here and one number behind the decimal here, which means you need two numbers behind the decimal in your answer. So then how much dry pasta does Oliver need? He ends up needing 17.25 and we were in ounces, so I'm gonna go ahead and label my unit as ounces. All right, go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems in this lesson and I'll see you back for lesson three.